Hey everybody and welcome into this North Node series of readings. I wanted to do these this week. I've been asked to do them for quite some time and I think if you like these I might make these a regular thing. Um, your North Node, if you don't know, it looks like a little set of headphones and your North Node is the energy, the karmic energy you're here to embrace in this life. It's brand new. And conversely, your south node is what you bring to this life. This is the very familiar. So you might find that going toward your north node does feel unfamiliar. That's kind of the point. The south node is your comfort zone. It's what you already know. So going toward your north node can be a challenge sometimes. So this might be something that you might be like, Oh, that feels really foreign to me, or that feels a little scary to me, or that feels like, wow, where have you been all my life? That's what North Node is here to bring you. So take a look at your chart, figure out what sign your North Node is in, and then take a look at your reading. It might be something brand new. It might be just a new way of looking at things that you hadn't considered. So without further ado, welcome to the series. All right, Libra, North Node in Libra. Let's see where we're going. Let's see what's going on. So if your North Node is in Libra, that means your South Node is in Aries. That means in a past life, you were likely somebody who was very bold, take action, right? A leader. Uh, in this life, it's your job to be part of a team. All right. And so some of you may have a hard time doing that. Some of you may be you know, too big, too small in terms of your energy. Some of you may, you know, sort of not know how to balance relationships yet with your private life, your personal life, your work life, your family life. You may have a hard time with that. So that's something that is on the agenda for this life, your life contract. Your job is to balance the Aries and Libra energy. So let's see where we go here. Higher power breathe. <laughs> Always a good idea. No place like home. All right. So that's been showing up quite a bit, that no place like home um, card. And I feel like some of you are choosing um, what makes you feel comfortable. And that ends up being a very good choice. Like if you're very connected to your sense of power, to your sense of your higher self, you're doing good work, you're grounding, <clears throat> then that becomes your home. I, I almost feel like some of you are uh, choosing a home. It's like where you feel comfortable. And it's so interesting because North Node is not really about comfort, but North Node in Libra is about learning to be comfortable in relationships, learning to embrace the skills of relationships. Okay, so um, you could be moving toward a commitment with the no place like home because you're doing this spiritual work. Nine of Cups, Ace of Swords. Absolutely. So let's see where we go. I'm going to do a do, don't do in a second here with a different deck. Six of Swords, Chariot, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Six of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Devil Energy, and the Ace of Pentacles. This is the, the outcome card of this. So you do have a couple of aces here. Sorry that I can't show you the cards, but I will show you individually. Um, this is about coming home. That's Cancerian energy. That no place like home card is Cancerian energy. This is about coming home to a place that feels good, feels solid, feels um, <clears throat> like the place you should be. It's very much aligned with your higher power, with your high self. It's very much aligned with that. Meditation is how you're going to get there. You do have some um, some past life baggage, likely. Nine of Wands, Six of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. Some of this past life energy is uh, rising up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I feel like you could have a, a soulmate, a contract, a soulmate, <laughs> a soulmate contract with someone that keeps showing up. Okay, so if your North Node is in Libra, it is about the energy of relationship. It absolutely is. 
but you have someone that keeps showing up that keeps dragging up all kinds of baggage well guess what that's what north node is all about could be a cancerian could be a capricorn definitely a new beginning <clears throat> Why is the Nine of Wands here? Please, oh, Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Woo, okay. So um, it's possible that one of the things, this is maybe just for a small portion of you, but some of you choose a mate or a partner based on their financial capability. You might not even know you're doing that. But if you keep having people showing up in your life and things keep going from great to less great to terrible, all right, in, in terms of the stability of the connection, in terms of your resources, like they get squeezed off, pinched off, if you feel like that's what's going on, uh, it's definitely for some of you that needing to balance the energy of self-confidence, stability, um, knowing that you can do it, you can bring about your, you know, manifesting your change, manifesting uh, more money. And I feel like what you're actively um, learning to do right here is to balance love and money, to balance, how do I say this? So money or financial capability is no longer the reason that you're going to choose a partner. If you chose a partner based on stability, um, financial well-being, now it's like every time you choose a partner who is doing okay, it kind of collapses for them, okay? Or Because it's likely that you might have to do something about your own money in order to um, uh, fully step into this North Node placement. You might be the one who needs to be the breadwinner or the earner, okay? If you choose some, if, if this is your experience, that you choose a partner and all of a sudden they like have problems with, with money or they get laid off or they get fired or something like that and it's been a recurring theme, this is something for you to work on. Um, I know you think it might be about them. They have to work on it, which is true. There's definitely some truth to that, but this Capricorn energy, the Saturnian energy, Saturn is about the hard lessons we learn. Eight of Wands is about communication. I feel like it's releasing some kind of Saturnian um, lesson, which is, you know, putting in the time and effort, right? A little bit 20th century, okay? Um, putting in the time and effort uh, is the way to grow things. The new way is a little new wave, a little bit more about the internet, a little bit more about um, creator economy, a little bit more about how can I create new worth and value in my life <clears throat> without it also being a drag. I think some of you um, get so bogged down in your work life um, that you might need a partner. So some of you, this could be also about a business partner, not even a love partner. Seven, seventh, um, or Libra, North Node in Libra is about all kinds of partnerships. So whatever partnerships you have that get bogged down or that get stuck or that aren't really flourishing, that's the lesson in this lifetime to really expand into. How can I do that? And I almost feel that Let's see, let's see. Before I go saying something, hold on. Let me clarify this devil energy, please. Let's clarify the devil energy. Lovers, world, queen of cups, three of wands. What was this one that jumped out? Okay, strength in reverse. So strength is the one card that can overcome devil energy and it's in reverse, it's being blocked. So. There's something here about a lack of courage or a lack of taking a risk. Uh, you might have a problem taking a risk, which is so weird because in your past life, um, Aries, you had Aries energy as your North Node. It's possible you might take 
too much of a risk now. So either way, either you know, either extreme is it could be true that you might take too many risks, um, and you have you know dragging around a lot of debt, dragging around a lot of um, broken dreams because you've taken too many risks and not really balanced it out. I feel like this is about you needing a partner, someone who does understand money, but that's not the reason you're choosing them. The reason you're choosing them is that you are the one who is gonna do the money, who is gonna focus on money, or you're the one who's gonna focus on the business. They might be the one who is instead um, being the creative or something like that. You have, to, you have to balance your capabilities with this person but I also feel like if you also if you had partners in the past that might have taken money from you or might have you might have had some um, you know a life partner getting divorced and money just disappeared kind of thing. This is something to work on right now, and it has to do with risk, courage, taking uh, taking a chance. And there is something new being offered here. Ace of Pentacles, there's something new being offered. And it's not like it, it's not like anything you've ever dealt with before. You've got Lovers, World, and Queen of Cups. So your North Node in Libra is really asking you to stand in your heart chakra and manifest from that. Knowing full well that you do have to understand how the money is working in the business. You do have to understand like a mar marriage if this is about a love relationship, is a business contract. There's something about that here. I feel like some of you get in a love relationship and it just drains your energy. It drains your practical energy, your creative energy. Something about that. So this might be hard work. This might be a lot of effort. This might be a lot of effort, okay? So, uh, let's see, Gemini, I see Gemini and Capricorn. Gemini, Capricorn, Cancer, Leo. All right, so I will look deeper into those. Libra North Node, if this has resonated for you, there's a link below if you wanna keep going with me. I do think this has a real chance of turning out better because you're learning to work with the energy of money now. Money and love and how do those two things work together or how have I blocked them in the past? All right, we'll look at blocks in the extended. I'll look at those zodiac signs. Link is below, I'll see you over there.